<laughs> Hi class. Today we're going to talk about high conflicting individuals. It's me again, your instructor, Miss Honeybee. You know, those high conflicting people, the ones that are always irritable, they're always blaming people for their failures, the ones that never apologize, the ones that always feel like it's all or nothing. Yes, those type of individuals. <laughs> but the truth be told, you and I can be high conflicting people at too sometimes. <gasps> Now class, there's several things you do need to know about high conflicting individuals. Now they are the types that will make you want to pull your hair out. <laughs> make you want to scream. They exhaust and tire you out. But I'm here in Miss Honeybee to teach you how to regain your power back. How to have peace in the midst of the storm. Listen closely. High conflicting individuals, they like to blame everyone for their mishaps and failures. High conflicting people tend to see things for all or nothing. They like to never apologize, it's all your fault. But I'm here to tell you as your instructor that you can regain your power back and have some peace. There's a couple of things that you need to know about high conflicting individuals. The first thing you need to know is that they lack self-awareness. The second thing you need to know is that they lack self-change. And wonderful thing that you should know, the third thing is that you have to remember, it's not really about you. It's about their inability to control their emotions and their environment. Now let's talk about this lack of self-awareness. Have you ever noticed individuals with high conflicting personalities are very dramatic? They tend to not see how that their actions actually apply the pressure in the situation. Because remember, it's all your fault. You know, they usually say the very famous words, she made me feel that way. He made me do that. All the while they're doing this to protect themselves because they don't like feeling vulnerable. High conflicting individuals do not like to change. As a matter of fact, they see no need to change because they are not the ones that are wrong. In order for you to regain your peace, you need to disengage from the high conflicting personality. Now, studies show we're gonna be dealing with a lot of people who have high conflicting personalities. Many of them have ah, personality disorders, <laughs> but you do not have to be afraid. Look at these bright, shiny numbers. Quite interesting, right? So it would do you some due diligence to understand exactly how to deal with these very difficult personalities. As we learn about these high conflicting personalities, it's very important to note that you do not tell someone, hey, I see that you are a high conflicting personality, nor is it your job to let them know that, hey, you seem like you are a narcissist. The job that you have is just to simply be aware of these behaviors and make a mental note and start responding differently. Until next time, this is Miss Honeybee signing off to help you deal with high conflicting personalities.